These camper vans are from Torn, a company based in Slovenia and they uh, have decided to specialise in the Scandinavian market. Uh, obviously anybody can buy them who wants them but for Scandinavian what you're looking at is insulation and uh, these vans have 32 millimetres of armour cell insulation in them. Uh, it's pretty expensive stuff. I can say in my own case I'm going to put in uh, 50 millimetre into my Mercedes uh, conversion, the cost of which is somewhere around 1,200 euros. So that just on the raw material alone is quite a lot. Uh, as you saw, this is a Peugeot. We've got here a bed at the back with plenty of storage. These aren't the carpets which come with it, although so you could ask them for them if you wanted them. Um, the um, point of this being it's to protect the floor of the van. Large washroom, um, two-way fridge, I say electric fridge. Uh, this is a, one that's compactly recent from Thetford, I think it came out 2017, at, well, maybe 2018, I can't remember now. And it, uh, Thetford says it's particularly noted for its quiet use during the night. There you go, this the, the kitchen's uh, nothing special, it's the same as uh, oh, just about every camera has got in them, there you go, Dometics. Right. And uh, I mentioned the heating, uh, or the warmth I should say, the heating is via uh, diesel. And this sleeps floor 4. And that's achieved by using this here, this bit here, which comes out, but I'm going to demonstrate this in a... I'm not going to demonstrate it, I'm going to show you what it looks like it comes out like at the end in another van. But it's got parts which are, for example, down there, and this bit here comes out as well. And comes out like that, and that's all part of the bed. But we'll see that in another van. And I'm going to walk towards it right now. So you can see the other bed which has been made up. Oh, sorry, I was going to point this one as well. 74 centimetres across. Dream 4 system. Well, they thought of this one themselves because no one else is actually doing it as far as I'm aware. See the back here, it's just the same. There we go. And we'll have a look in this one too, as well. So everything's isolated, insulated, sorry. Um, I keep saying insulated now. Um, including the wastewater tanks, electrica, uh, electrical um, heating in the floor. Again, something I put in my van. Uh, this comes out, this is the kitchen extension, so that uh, gives you a bit more room when you're preparing food. Oh, you can also have aircon. Of course, most aircon units are also heating units, and that might that might come in come in useful. And the uh, I mentioned the wastewater tank. It's also um, not only insulated but also heated, heating your wastewater. What's the point of that? It's to stop it freezing and thus damaging the system. Oh, don't think I showed you my favourite door application on, on, on a van. There you go. 
Right, so that's the torn van. I think there's more to say about it, but I try to be quick because people are beginning to come into the hall here and I try to do it as fast as possible. So, if you've got any additional comments, you might want to put them into the comment section. Hopefully somebody from the company might answer them. <laughs> okay, thank you.